Hi, I'm Psycho Break, along with Tojo. Oh. Ron. Hi, I'm Tojo. And today we're doing a review of Heels, Episode Four, Cutting Promos. This episode is gonna t we're gonna talk about what we liked and what we didn't like. Yeah, in this episode, one of the best things to me was they brought back Wild Bill. Wild Bill. He is a great comedic character, and I think he's going to make it very more very interesting. Yes. Compared to how it was. Yes. Not to be confused with Buffalo Bill with Wild Horses. But this shows where he can be a necessary evil to this, where he's causing stirring the pot, if you will, between the two brothers and the organizations. See, Wild Bill's coming up in hardship where he's actually pretty much burning every bridge and not giving a crap on who he hurts or what problems he causes of what company. Sounds a lot like you sometimes, Psycho Break. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, we're just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> this video is just poking fun ourselves <clears throat> and we're talking a lot about what we liked and didn't like, of course. Wild Bill Comeback is actually a great thing for the show, in my opinion. Um, another thing that happens in this episode is Bobby starts to rely on Crystal's input more, which makes it kind of interesting because it looks like it could be a romantic angle. Yes, Bobby is going to be the one that actually was in the ring with Ace on episode three, who was pretty much a trans transition character, not transgender. And basically what that is, is he can actually be betrayed as heel, face, whatever, because they don't really know what they want to use him for. So therefore he's able to transition into whatever they need him to be until he discovers who he wants to be as a wrestler and what his character is. And that's where, that's where Crystal comes into play. So he invites Crystal over to his place um, after she gave him a haircut and everything. And she's, he starts showing her gimmicks and stuff. Anyways, on this, this is where the romance starts. You start seeing it to blossom and stuff because they actually have quite a lot of interest. So, Yes, and one thing that I really enjoy other than mm -hmm. the thoughts of a romantic angle that would really make the few better, in my opinion, between Ace and Bobby, is that this episode dives deeper into the family of DWL, such as Jack and Ace's relationship with their mother and with their father. Now, the mother is dealing with her own struggles, and they actually touch into that for a little bit with being the fact of the father's loss. Now, if you watched episode three, you know what that's about. Matter of fact, it plays no, uh, plays no, doesn't beat around the bush on that one, actually, and it actually dives right into a darker subject. And she talks more about how she handled uh, pain. And in her way, sadness is, gr uh, her grief is anger. So she doesn't want to really acknowledge Tom. And this kind of really brings it out in the open when certain things are said at the dinner table while the kid is praying for his grandfather. And she abruptly interrupts him and says some few choice words that kind of leaves you thinking, wow, you did that and it's a family dinner. Like, I mean, that was just like, oh my goodness. Like, it was very... In their character part, it was very off-putting because of the fact when you know what these characters are going through, that's such a sore, sore subject. And she's still trying to learn how to cope with things, much less on how she's dealing with the loss of her husband. But I think by her doing that, mm -hmm. it actually brought her two sons closer together. Mm -hmm. And matter of fact, while they're in the basement watching old DWL videos, they actually agree and jack actually lets ace give him input which is something that has never been done before you in this he's always had 100 percent control of the script but he's given ace a chance to prove himself which i think is actually a very good step in their relationship yeah it actually is as you start to see where jack is actually letting ace letting somebody else carry the burden instead of just being all Jack. And uh, that also ties back into with the, the wife wanting to, to get a job. Um, Jack's always wanted to be about him doing it and carrying this heavy load when they're supposed to be a family. So you start to see him opening up more and starting to let his brother feel like he's a part of something. 
Now, when Jack's wife does <clears throat> finally get a job, she tells him over the phone that she wants the job because she wants something that is actually hers. And Jack completely understands that and says, all I want you is to be happy. Yep. Which is truly a touching moment in their relationship. And it's touching for the audience because it is showing more depth and character for the people portraying the wrestlers in their real life. And all this said, just to wrap it up, basically it boils down to this. The episode is a lot better than what episode three was because of the fact that it hints at the dark undertones, but it's not as apparent. It doesn't flush it at like it's not like all dark and sad. This one had a little bit more happy tones to it, and I think that's kind of what they went with on this. Um, but in my opinion, this was definitely a good episode. If you was um, so it, it kind of on the mood level things, this one after you got done watching this, you felt on an even kill. You didn't feel like super sad and you didn't feel like super uh, happy. You kind of felt like, okay, cool, this this is going to go somewhere. Yeah, it made me believe that this episode is something that the rest of the series can fall back on in a way. That way it makes it to where people leave more in a neutral sense versus stream happy or stream mad. They leave content. Yeah. Which is really what you want. That way you have something to build off of. Yeah. And this is only going to go up from here. So with that being said though, definitely check out Heels. Um, the Heels episode 4. If you haven't watched it, definitely check out the series. As of right now, it comes on every Sunday. Around, uh, well, if you have the app, it usually comes on, on the app at, at 12. So you're able to check it out a lot earlier. Um, but as far as I go, between 1 through 5... I'll definitely give this a 4.5. I would have to say I would give it a 5 because it cannot go any further down than what it has been. It can only go up. All right, guys. Well, if you like our views and comments and our quirkiness, be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, break every chain. <laughs>